Welcome back, back after a, <clears throat> a short break. Uh, I'm picking up where I finished, uh, continuing with Gran Turismo Cafe and the book menu. I have one to get some uh, European classics. Uh, the last one left is the Volkswagen, Volks, Volkswagen. Okay, that, that didn't go according to plan, I messed up at the beginning. <clears throat> so it's third gear, that's where we're starting the game. The drive. I go inside, here we go, there was enough space there. Actually that... Uh, That more, I would call it like simulation camera, which simulates the head movement. I can see that someone who's not get used to that type of cameras that can cause some uh, motion sickness, almost feel like being in VR. Um, I don't have a motion sickness in VR, but I know that some people do have it. I think that's going to be really hard to do. I have to overtake three more cars. And then I don't feel like I'm fast enough, we'll see. Yeah, there is a lot of head movement in... Uh, I really like it. There's uh, head movement during the elevation change, you're moving on braking, pretty, pretty cool. That was my last chance to attack if I want to win that. I know that uh, top 3 is enough, but yeah, I want to win. Who doesn't, right? There we go. My chair wasn't centered to my wheel. Um, I had to adjust the position. Okay, <clears throat> another one bites the dust. Fifty-four thousand twenty miles out of twenty-six point two one nine. And the cafe book, oh, menu book, has been completed. So. Let's head to the cafe. Mm. So much clicking. Here we go. Tuning shop. Okay, so he'll be talking to me about those cars. Okay, I'm more than happy to listen to it. That's actually quite addition, quite nice addition to the game.
Yeah, I would take the mini out of this free. Definitely. Italian job, right? It didn't say much, uh, but I still think it's a good addition. Championship, high speed ring truck day. Okay, <clears throat> what do they want me to do? Let's have a look. Tsukuba circuit, the Japan, finish the top three. That's it, that's, that's all they want me to do. For this menu, you will be entering a championship. The high speed ring truck day is now available in world circuits. Go so go ahead and sign up. You'll have to do more than just finish the race though. I want to see you place the top three. Show me what you can do out there and I'll get some exciting new menus ready. Okay, cool. Good luck, I'll be rooting for you. Okay, first of all, um, oh, a fancy trailer. Honda Civic there. <clears throat> perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, great. Um, tuning shop is open. Okay, I have a new cars in my garage. I have a gift. Uh, let's use the gift. No point keeping it. I'll probably get the smallest pile of cash again. I would love that car though. Ah, that's what I said. Hello. Of course I did the smallest pile of cash. Seriously, that is a bullshit. So, uh, let's show me the three new cars I have. Mini. I love how Mini the old Mini is shown as Germany. It definitely should be shown as British. That, of course, is a German car. Nothing to add here. Yeah, I'm not going to read that. I'm not that interested in those cars. And that's Italian. <clears throat> and I know that uh, Mini was bought by BMW, but doesn't change the fact that that version is a British car. So here I can tune my car. Mm. Yeah, sure you are. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can buy tires as usually, we can do some small upgrades here and there. Mm hmm okay. Not like I'm super interested at the moment. Oh wow. Okay. So, if I go here, If I remember correctly, high speed ring is very fast track uh, of little corners uh, from the old Gran Turismo games. It certainly hasn't been included in Gran Turismo Sport. So it's a proper championship, lovely. So they, they introduced it back because it wasn't in, in GTS. Okay. <clears throat> Championship. And what are the requirements? Are there any requirements here? Suggested PP is 400. Okay. And what is my car? Uh, I'm not seeing it anywhere here. Ah, my car is 318. So in theory, I could now go to the tuning shop to spend some of those hard earned credits. And let's say I want the sport computer. Okay, how does it improve my car? So on the right hand side, what does it show? 
exactly more horsepower more torque more weight to power ratio obviously but i don't see how my performance points are changing hmm. that's pretty annoying am i missing something here uh, let me just purchase it okay okay a first uh pointless trophy 328 okay so there i can see the change after can i apply the other one no okay maybe i can different menu okay bank 329 335 335 still that hasn't changed much Street suspension. Mm hmm. 336. That's a very small gain. I'm afraid that uh, it may be showing something where the camera is at the moment. Uh, let's move that camera. I think I can do it from the share menu. Uh, or maybe I cannot. Mm, no. Maybe I can do it from here. Here we go. I move the camera to the left. And I left the menu. How great. So let's go back there. <sighs> Not there. So let's say I want to buy this one. Okay, now it shows me. 347. 3,000 credits and yeah, I'm going to get it. Why not? I'm going to get everything and I want I can keep the mediums. That's fine um, Okay, so I upgraded the car a little bit a little bit. Let's go to the championship Ah, it's two times the same track, just uh, normal and reverse. Not big of a championship, but that's better than nothing, I guess. My coffee's gone. Uh, Fraga, does it, does it have anything to say? Okay. Okay. Yeah, fine, perfect. Let's do it. This track brings some good memories from the old Gran Turismo games.
I think I kept it on the third gear for too long. So he's definitely faster on straight. I'm also curious why I'm having uh, miles per hour rather than kilometers per hour. He's got a better acceleration, I think, in that Honda. I need to set up uh, my buttons, I just wanted to switch on, on lights and I actually pressed the uh, handbrake, <laughs> which didn't work well. But at least I had a better exit out of that last corner and I have some momentum to switch to the P1. Lucky me, I guess. Yeah, actually, I know the Lime Rock. Um, I think IMSA WeatherTech races at Lime Rock. At least the GT cars, not sure about the prototypes. Yeah, the Honda Civic looks definitely nice. Definitely better than my Mazda, but that's I didn't have a choice to buy the Honda. Or maybe it was too expensive for the first car. Okay, some first point in the first championship. Clean race bonus. I'm still not sure what the clean race bonus is. Almost, almost uh, achieved the driving marathon. Nice, that Honda, especially Type R, pretty cool car. Uh, to the next race, yes please. I need to do two things. So one of the things I have to do is move that camera to the right hand side back. It really annoys me when it's on the left. Here we go. Oh, it hasn't been moved. How how amazing. Um, okay, and then I want to do some changes in the options menu. They are really nice cars, those Hondas. I like the new Honda Taper as well. Though the, that rear spoiler is a bit too much, I think, in the new one. Still, uh, okay, display settings. No, sound volume, race difficulty, demo network, in-game notifications, units, units. Kilometers, please. Thank you. Uh, off. I don't need that. Uh, what else do we have? Controller. Okay, I can do some changes. So, uh, I don't need to look back. Or maybe I don't need to look back. 
Okay, that is look back. That is. Mm -hmm, that stays. I don't need indicators. Uh, I want to change view just in case. Here we go. Post menu, yeah, that's fine. Gear down, sure menu, that's all good. Camera only supported steering wheels. Camera control. Hmm, interesting. Oh, the stick. I don't have the stick. Um, right indicator. Yeah, I don't need that. I don't know what's there. Lovely. <coughs> Yeah, maybe that. Motorcycles. Uh, I know they do motorcycles. I didn't know they, they grew to want to be one of the most successful. Nice. Yeah, the Japan motors, motor industry grew after World War II by a huge margin. Thanks to Americans as well. They helped them a lot. Uh, Nitrous overtake. Uh, oh, I've got it already there. Hmm. Doesn't matter. What's that? That will be windscreen wipers. That's not handbrake. Those are lights. Uh, flash or something like that. Or maybe toggle high low. That is going to be. Hmm. Hazard lights, where the, here they are. And this is going to be flash. Here we go. All done. Okay, let's continue. Oh. That is in rain. Oh man, I can agree. I love motorsport. Uh, I don't like motorbikes, I have to admit that. I tried to follow it, doesn't work with me. But when it comes to cars racing, I love so many different type of car racing. Uh, I came back to Formula 1, I had a long break. I've been watching Formula 1 since 1993. And then I had a long break around uh, 2012, 13 to 2020. And then World Endurance Championship, European uh, Le Mans Series. My favorite one is IMSA WeatherTech Car, Champion Car Championship. I love that series. I love the American uh, DPI prototypes. The Daytona prototypes looks amazing. Which I think is quite unusual for someone from Europe. Uh, then I follow the GT World Challenge, which used to be called uh, Blank Pen GT Championship. So yeah. And I think in the US it was called Pirelli GT, now it's pa all part of the same uh, GT Challenge, World GT Challenge. Motor racing is amazing sport. I don't really, I, I don't watch really anything else when it comes to sport. Like I don't like football, and I'm talking soccer. Hate it. One of the things I would like to watch live one day is NASCAR in something like Talladega or Daytona 500. Uh, so I'll be trying to do that in the next few years. Go to US, 
for a holiday, but also go to watch NASCAR live. I heard it's amazing live. Messed up. Forgot it's wet and that car doesn't turn. Uh, you've been in Gran Turismo 7? Yeah, I've only started the game, so uh, I don't have many cars to choose from. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, that was a close one. You overtook me straight after f crossing the finish line. I generally like the the A45 AMG, the way it looks like the little AMG touches all over the car. I need to uh, move in a se for a second, I'll be right back. My dog is going mad, crazy. Just went under the telly where my legacy consoles are the PS3 and Xbox 360 and uh, flip both of them. <laughs> what a dog. Behaves like a cat throwing things from the table. Okay, driving Martin completed. What's that? Yeah, I know I was. Oh, they gifted me three cars, really? Or Oh, no, I can choose one. Oh, that's another I hate RNG. If I could choose one it would be great. Uh, I should go left. Lovely. I'm really happy I picked up that Integra. Such a nice car. Such a nice car. The Honda would be nice as well. But that Integra, I love it. And it's also Type R. Great. I know what I'll be using next. I'm ditching that Mazda for that Integra. Okay, what's next uh, in the menu? Let's go back to the Gran Turismo Cafe. There we go. Yeah, thank you very much. Brand Central, so I can start buying cars. I don't know, we can have a look. I just open access to the shop. So we can go and have a look in a second. Yeah, here we go. That's Brand Central. That's where you buy the new cars. Uh, okay, trophies. I can see the trophies here. She doesn't want to talk about anything, I guess. Yeah, she already, she already was talking about this. Why is she repeating herself? Okay, my collections. Okay, the new menu book, number five. So now I have to collect the other two. So the Civic Type R, which we were talking about earlier, and the Swift Sport 17, 2017. Okay, cool, let's, let's do that. Japanese front, 
front sports car. So front engine, front wheel. Mm -hmm. Cool. Let's go to Brand Central and we can check if the Mercedes is there. I'm curious. Car advisor, interesting. Is there a job like that in real life? My garage screaming at me. I think it wants me to get the gift. Roulette of despair, let's do it. I had two roulettes, both of them were the smallest uh, pile of cash. This is the third roulette and I'm getting the smallest pile of cash three times in a row. Wow, 2000, that's even smaller than the last time. Yeah, Giulietta is definitely a nice car. Okay, so does. Here we go. I want to switch to this one. That is quite a high PP in comparison to the one I have at the moment. So how do I switch to that car? My current car. Am I missing something? Like I cannot pick up that car? Hmm, that is quite strange. Ah, change car. Very convoluted menu. Okay. Cool. Okay, okay, I understand. I don't want to change anything. So this car came with Comfort Softs, okay. I guess that improves the performance as well. Uh, escapes, gifts, tuning parts. I guess I have nothing. Yeah, I have nothing. Good. Let's do some driving. But that was some time ago. Cool, Asia Oceania. Oceania. Uh, <clears throat> Suzuka and Tsukuba. Suzuka is much better than Tsukuba, so I'll do the Tsukuba first. We'll get rid of it and then do the nice truck. Yeah, especially Lambos. Lambos are super special. Okay, I have quite a nice new car and and I want to test it I miss shifted wow That car was all over the place.
Okay, one of the things I want to disable here is the ABS. Uh, that will be an assist. I'm not sure if that car it have, has ABS or not. Uh, if I don't know, I disable it. Oh my, oh my, this is a second lap, final one, and I'm still second. And I messed up gearing. I guess I'll be second this time around, which I cannot accept. Or maybe I'll be first. <laughs> last possible moment Pagani man I've uh, I've seen one recently uh, the place where I work here in London it's a very modern finance center and we had some kind of something like a gamble or the beginning of gamble or something like that where a lot of very expensive very nice cars came together and they park around the finance center. They were staying there. People could take a photo, uh, talk to the drivers, and then at a certain time they all drove away. And there was uh, there was Zonda, uh, Spider, amazing car, amazing. Ah, oh, it's fifty percent for bonus. I finally have seen that. Okay, one more to do is the the Honda, and we'll be racing at Suzuka together. Uh, what well, depends which one. For me, it's uh, for me it always was and always will be Lambo uh, when it comes to sports cars. Uh, just the way it looks. There's something about it. In most McLaren, in, in most cases, when it comes to McLaren, I'm not convinced to the rears of those cars. They, yeah, P1 is actually quite nice because it has the spoiler and everything. But some of them, like they miss something there. Like it's very low seated that the rear of that car in McLarens. They're nice cars. I, I would, yeah, you know, I wouldn't complain if I had one. Uh, and I like the GT3 editions of them. Oh, those are beautiful. The 720 GT3, amazing. Looks beautifully, especially live. Okay, so here we are at Suzuka East, I think it is, because of the short version. So this PP is 450, about 455, so I'm good. When it comes to McLarens, I actually really like the old GT, the 4 MP412 or MP124. I never, never, I never remember which number was force first, but yeah, that was really, really cool car. Okay, let's do some racing.
MP412C, yes, you're right, that's the thing. Super cool McLaren in GT3 version. Oh, surprisingly, third gear was fine. This is Suzuka East, yes, so it's the shorter version. Really like Suzuka, especially the SS here. Such a cool truck. Unfortunately, it's a little bit infamous for what happened to Jules Bianchi here in Formula 1 a few years back. Gran Turismo 5, I think it was, so on PS3, uh, there was a, a very long endurance race. Oh, whoa, 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 what happened here? That's lack of ABS. <laughs> I'm glad I saved that. Could have been much worse. So in Gran Turismo 5, as I, as I was saying, there was an uh, endurance race on Suzuka in GT cars. And Gran Turismo 5 had a randomized weather, so it could have gone really bad. And I had the whole race in wet. I think it took me eight and a half hours to finish it. That was pretty cool, eight and a half hours. I was driving Honda NSX, uh, the Japanese GT. Group 2, I think it is. Yeah, the old the old Gran Turismo had some crazy endurances. 24 hours uh, Le Mans, 24 hours Nürburgring, the thousand miles or whatever it was of Suzuka. Pretty, pretty cool. Podium fixture. Okay, cool. Another trophy. For now, those will be all bronze trophies, the easy to get one. The longest endurance I was driving was Le Mans. I did the whole 24 hours uh, in, in Project Cars 1. just to get the achievement. There was achievement to do that. But I always wanted to do the Le Mans 24 hours in, in simulation, in, in sim game. So I finally had a chance. I think it was two years ago. I sacrificed the whole weekend and I did it. Cool, that's another uh, menu book done from the Gran Turismo Cafe. Uh, maybe they have some... Oh, they want to talk to me. New parts can now be purchased. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'm curious if that requires the first stage. Maybe it doesn't. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't want to upgrade anything yet. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's... Li oh, there's a new guy here, Chris. Let's listen to this guy first, what he wants to tell us about his cars. I wish there was a voiceover. Uh -oh.
Didn't know though. Didn't know that. That's nice to know. And what, who's this guy? Chris. Some interesting information. Let's check another book. Tune a classic car. Okay. Tune a Mini Cooper. Now that's interesting. So I need to change the car first, but I have a few rewards waiting for me here. Is it going to be third time the lowest pile of money? This is rigged. I'm now 100% sure this is rigged. This is four time, fourth time in a row. The smallest pile of money. This is crazy and stupid. Anyway. If they think that they will force me to buy in credits, because that game is a 70 pounds game which has microtransactions, if they believe me, if they believe that I'm going to purchase credits for microtransaction, and they know that micro because that, that costs a lot, they stupid if they believe that. There's no chance I'm going to spend a penny more on that game. I'll just spend 70 pounds just to own it. And I think it's ridiculous that a single player games, single player focus games, which cost a full pr price of AAI game, also ask you to buy microtransactions. I hope they burn in hell for doing that. Uh, okay, they want me to tune the Mini Cooper. Where is it? I guess it's there. British green color, as it should be. That's what, that's Brown Central now. Uh, where's the tuning? Ah, oh, here's the tuning. Yeah, the, the gaming industry is crazy. Like they, they sell you a 70 pounds, a single player focus game with a multiplayer aspect of the game added in, and they add microtransactions and they're not cheap. Let's see if we can actually access the, the shop. I don't know if there's an easy way to access it. Uh, if I go to credits, top up PlayStation store. So I, I can go there, right? So I have 100,000 credits, that's, that's worth two pounds. But if I want like two millions, it's another 16 pounds on top of the 70 I already paid. That's just, that's just bonkers. Some bollocks, really. So that's why then I believe that me winning four times the smallest pile of money in that carousel of despair is rigged just to force you to either spend a lot of time grinding the credits or, or buying them using the real money, uh, which I'm not going to do. Uh, so they want me to boost it to 360. Uh, should I start boosting with the club sports? Um, yeah, I don't want to drift. That's what tires do I have? Ah, no. Cool. Let's 
there was a misclick. So I want tires. I want the sports, comfort sports. I won't be going the. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that boosted it a lot. That's already different than eight just by buying better tires. Um. <clears throat> so. Okay, so I can buy sports computer. Is there something like sports com uh, club sports computer? No. Balas, transmissions, LSDs, clutch flywheels, sports suspension versus street suspension. Why did I lift it? Misclicked again. Uh. Okay, sports suspension. That's around 25. Oh, cool. I can buy a power restrictor. I can buy ballast. Okay. Sports air filter. Sports silencer. Brake pads. Are there club sport related brake pads? Sports brake kit. So that's if I buy if I buy this one, that brings me up to three for one. And then if I go and buy brake pads, is it going to increase or decrease? Three for one. Yeah, it increased by a slight margin. But I think if I buy that, well, let's just do that way. I buy the oh, that's the purchased. And the camera is in my way. I need to move it again. This is so annoying. Uh, let's let's move. Let's turn off the camera for now. I don't need it here in this menu. Okay. So if I went to sport and try to purchase no sport suspension, that should reduce it, right? Yeah. Okay. This is going to reduce it. So. Uh, Let's buy this one. No, let's buy the power restrictor. That shouldn't change anything. The same as ballast. That's just to adjust the car once it's ready to race. And then let's go with the bore up. Okay. And then high lift camshaft. I'm almost at 360. High compression pistons. Almost there. And then Let's just switch to sport and see. Hmm, okay. I pretty much purchase everything here. And that's 361. Okay, done. I'm not sure if that was the most optimized way of upgrading that car, but who cares? It's not like I'm spending real life money. Uh, maybe this, I don't know. It's worth doing though. There are lots of parts that can be used in various ways to improve your car's performance. There are also parts like power restrictors and ballast designed to actually lower your car's PP. Have fun exploring the wild world of tuning. Alsac, France, Sardinia, road truck. Okay, a new menu there, available. Collection European hot hatches. I wish they gave me something different than just collections, but yeah, I guess that's what, that's what it is. So the new Mini Cooper, new Abarth, and new Polo GT. Pretty boring cars, to be honest. Maybe that Abarth is fun, but the rest, boring, 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 boring. Ah, okay, so here if I click on the information, the hot model of the Mini, uh, armed with a supercharger. Mm -hmm. So that also gives me the recommended car to use to win that car. Uh, okay, cool. Hatchbacks are small cars with a rear door hinged at the roof. The hot just means that they're extra speedy. Really? Are they? Lots of neat little hot hatches have been produced in Europe over the years. If you're going to be racing in a 
mini tuned to 360pp or more, then you should target the race at Brands Hatch. Once you've collected all three cards, come back here and see me. Okay, maybe I should try to use that mini. After all, I just spent some hard earned credits to tune it. So let's go to World Circuit. Europe. And what do we have? We got Brands Hatch. Okay. We have uh, Olsak in France and we have Italy, Sardinia. Let's start with Brands Hatch. We've got British car. We're going to try to win German car because BMW. But on a British racetrack, that car won't have ABS, right? That Mini is way too old. So we're driving without ABS. One thing I have to check, and I'm really curious how that works, is if the display settings for the cockpit view transfer between cars, and they do. So it's type two, it's five, lovely. Because in Gran Turismo Sport, it was by car. Here it's, by player, I guess, right? Lovely. That's a huge improvement, in my opinion. That car should have quite a good grip and handling. Just because it's quite small. And has a... Front and rear wheels are almost at the back and the end of the car. It's uh, it's very low driven, so the center, the mass center mass is uh, is quite low as well in that car. So even though it doesn't have a lot of horsepower, it should be still quite quick in the corners. But it's not looking good to me, to be honest. Uh, it may be too slow. Uh, I know that I have it at 360 and the recommended PP was 460 or something like that. So there is a hundred PP difference. Yeah, I'm not gaining any time. I'll finish the race even though I have no chance of winning it. And then I'll change back to Integra. Uh, I don't want to spend more money tuning that, uh, that Mini Cooper. I have the difficulty set to hard, so I don't know, maybe that's why. Or maybe I'm just not good enough to win that in that particular Mini Cooper. Well, at least he tried. Yeah, far away from winning. But it was fun to try. Oh, I need to drink. Fifth out of eight. 
yeah, I don't think I can do this in that car without further tuning it. And I don't even know if I have enough tuning option, options there to tune it to to challenge that Peugeot or uh, Renault. At least not on the free laps. So, yeah, I'll be just standing there in the corner pretending it was a good race. It wasn't. Mm, can I change the car easily from here? No, of course I cannot. Uh, it would be too easy if I could. I have to go all the way back and to the garage. Oh my, oh my. They could they could do some improvements in the in the menu of the game. So back to the Integra. It's it's cool car, definitely. Yeah, okay. Back to the world circuits. Uh, so it look look like it's going to be Japanese car on uh, British classic race. Course, yeah, the kingdom run. Oh, I cannot use that. It has to be a European car. Okay, fair enough. So, what European cars do I have available to me to use? Hmm. I don't have a huge choice. Uh, Okay, I'll try something different. Uh, let's buy a new European car, capable of actually competing in that. Maybe I should get something from... What's there in the Alfa Romeo? That would be nice, that meter. Uh, where is the PP for that car? I'm blind. Wait, well, it doesn't show? What if I go here? Mm, it doesn't show me the PP for that car. Oh yeah, it's there, okay. 415. That's not bad. That's way too much. That wouldn't be a fair bottle. Uh, France, we have Renault here. I used to drive Megane when I was 18. Or well, between 18 and 22. I don't think there would be Megane here. Well, the new one there is here, but uh, that's not what I was driving. 493, 461, the Trophy Clio. So the two, 15 and 16. That's actually better than this one. It's lighter. This one is heavier. Mm -hmm. This one looks better. Uh, I could get this one, 30,000. What there is in a Peugeot? I'm not a big fan of Peugeot, though. Yeah, this one I don't want. This one's not bad. 421. This one's better, actually. Yeah, that's a road car. Hmm. So, not Peugeot, Citroën. Citroën I could dig, I guess. Oh yeah, okay. No no road cars from Citroën. Such a shame. Oh, but DS has some cars. Let's see what DS has to offer. One car. 456. And it actually looks good. It costs 31,000 and I'm going to buy it. Uh, there are two color schemes. Oh no, this one is this much better. Uh, yeah, let's get it. 31,000 burned. But the car looks decent. I like it actually. It has the required PP to hopefully give me a chance. Yes, change to it now. Perfect. And because that is done, let's see what tires I have available with the car I purchased. 
comfort soft, which is good. I'm going to keep it. I won't be upgrading it any further. I'm just going to keep it where it is. And I'm going to try again. And I forgot to switch the camera back on. So if I can do that, and I know I can, I'll bring the camera back. Here we go. Europe, Brands Hutch, let's drive, let's race. Sunday Cup, 400. My assumption is the starting gear will be third gear. Give it a try. That car should have ABS, so that's new enough. But I can't be bothered switching it on, so I'll just drive without it. Too wide in that uh, tight corner, tight right hander. Okay, I need to make my uh, loads a bit harder, it was too soft for precision braking. Okay, so it's P3 and one lap to go. They're quite close, but uh, they may be still too far away. I still need to overtake them after catching up with them. I know they'll be breaking here. That's what I said. I knew they're going to break here. I just need to find space in the ins on the inside of that corner. And that was enough to jump to the first and win that race. Oh wow, I can still lose it if I'm going to make a mistake like this one. Cool, done. Plus a clean race bonus, but it was close, very close to losing that clean race bonus uh, on that first corner of lap. Was it lap three when I went sliding down there? Cool, first one out of uh, three. Almost level five of the collector level.
no point watching the replay, we've just seen it all. And the next race will be... I'll suck at France. This is to get the Abarth. Okay, let's do it. I hate when they throw uh, some fun the trucks at me, which I don't know the layout of. I could change to the map in the right uh, lower corner just to see what to expect. Now instead of watching at the road, I'm watching at the map just to try and, trying to guess what the next corner looks like. He was defending that inside quite well. I couldn't find uh, enough space there to drive in and overtake. Okay, that's, uh, that was lap two, one more lap. A bit too fast here, wow, okay. I thought I had a good speed. My mistake, I admit that. I have a feeling that was really accelerated time because it became much lighter at the end of that race when it was uh, when we started in just a few minutes. Okay, another one done. One more to left uh, to do. One left or one more to do. I need to recover some of that uh, credits I lost on the car and on the tuning of that Mini Cooper, which was useless. Okay, Volkswagen Polo, next one. Yeah, like I care. Maybe once I have millions of credits, then I'll be caring about those uh, upgrades. For now, for now it doesn't matter much. Okay, so uh, time to move to Italy. Sardinia. Okay, let's do it. Another truck, I don't know. I think it was in Gran Turismo Sport. Oh, yeah, I think so. Lopez, who's that guy?
Thanks for the advice. I will try. I messed up a few corners. Uh, that was too fast in two of them already. Okay, I more or less now know this truck, more or less, I probably less than more, but it should be okay. I think I uh, was braking a bit too early. I don't think I had to break here. I could probably have uh, gone here full throttle and break here to the second gear, right? If I remember correctly, yeah. That has to be another second gear corner. Uh, I definitely slowed down too much. That camera shake doesn't really help. Sometimes it's quite hard to judge uh, what's going on when it's shaking like that. And it's done. Lovely. Trophy earned, all-rounder, what does it mean? So, that trophy all-rounder... That trophy all-rounder was to win 10 races and 10, and 10 different trucks. Clean, raid clean race bonus is 50%. So at the beginning of my first video I said it's 100%, I was wrong. It's obviously 50% extra. And that's the third car I needed to acquire, and that happened. Golf, GTI. Okay, another one. Another of those uh, Gran Turismo Cafe book menus done. Uh, oh, they 
want to talk to me in the tuning shop about some car parts. That's probably because I opened the semi racing. I see that you've upgraded your collector level. That's great. Now I'll sell you the I'll sell you semi racing parts. You can read all about tuning and settings in the yes. You already told me that. Why are they repeating themselves? Cool. We can spend even more money on the car. Uh, no, thank you very much. Let's go to cafe. Another one, okay. European hot hatches completed, perfect. Congratulations, you've got all three cars. This completes your European hot hatches collection. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about those cars. GT Auto, oh, I don't know what it is. Okay, is he going to tell me about those cars? Are you familiar with the term hot hatch? It refers to hatchback cars with powerful engines and a sporty suspension. Take the high-performance GTI version of Volkswagen's first-generation Golf, which debuted in 1976. It is now generally considered to be the very first hot hot hatch. Oh really, I didn't know that. This Polo is the successor to the original GTI. While brands such as England's Cooper and Italy's Abarth have been producing high-performance models since the 50s. Okay, cool. Perfect. New book. Number eight, wash a car at GT Auto. Okay, now I know what GT Auto is. Let's do it. Uh, the scapes and showcase pavilions are now open and they look pretty interesting. But before we get into all that, this menu is about experiencing what GT Auto has to offer. If the tuning shop is about improving a car's performance, GT Auto is about customing, customizing the way it looks. GT Auto is divided into three floors. So let's visit car maintenance and services to start. I'm sure a few of your motors are looking a bit dirty after all the driving you've done. Motors, so let's give them a wash. Wash one of your cars at GT Auto, then come back here once you are done. Can I wash this one? So another thing which is open are the scapes. This is where we can take photos, I believe, based on what, how, what it was in GTS. Hey, Olivier. Hi, Sarah. And you must be Qualxus, I've been hearing a lot about you. Nice to meet you, I'm Olivier, I'm a photographer. Here in Scapes, you can photograph your favorite car in over 2500 spots around the world. Well, that's a lot. You can go to these spots from the menu on your left, Switzerland, America, wherever you want. And you will have access to a fully functional camera, so you will be able to get into details when creating your shot. It's a fantastic playground for a photographer like myself. By the way, are you familiar with photography using camera? If I say no, there will be a huge information about how to use it. I said yes. Well, all right, that's perfect then. You should go try taking a shot in scapes and check out the camera. So start out by selecting my first scapes. Let's get out there and take some cool photographs. You know what? No. No, no, no. That's what I have to do. So what do we have? We've got car maintenance and service, car customization, and driving gear. Okay, they asked me to do that. So let's let's go with that first. So this shop is GTA Auto. If you want to customize the exterior of your car, this is the place to go. They have three floors that offer different services and products. And there are lots of exciting custom parts and offerings for the car enthusiasts. I hope you'll enjoy your time here at GT Auto. On this floor, we'll perform maintenance on your car. This is also where we widen bodies. What? Drive your car too long and its performance will drop, so remember to bring it in regularly to for some TLC. Okay, so we can oil change, 
engine overhaul, restore rigidity, 15,000 wide body. Okay, so that's what he meant. He really went about, he really meant widening body. Uh, oil engine body, that's all perfect. So the only thing I want to do is wash that car, right? 50. They actually could have put a nice animation of someone washing my car. Oh, that's a nice Porsche there. Uh, okay, I washed my car. Is there anything else then? No. That was amazing. I feel great. I feel like my car is actually clean now. Let's go to cafe again to get my reward. Well done. You did what I asked you to do. It's amazing. I can do things like that. They certainly did a good job of washing your car. Doesn't it feel great when your body works all gleaming? Oh, it feels amazing, man. There are other services available at GT Auto 2, you know. For example, you can give your car a real makeover by changing the wheels and aerodynamics parts. Also, if you create a good looking car in GT Auto, I recommend going to Scapes to take photos of it. Anyway, it's time for your latest reward. Enjoy! Tokyo Highway Parade, that's the next one to do. Finish the top three. Is it the championship? Let's have a look. Uh, recommended car integral. Lovely, I have that car. That's that's perfect. Let's start it. For this menu, I would like you to go to World Circuits and take part in the Tokyo Highway Parade. Parade. It's an event for skilled drivers and a National B license is required in order to enter. If you don't have your National B license yet, head over to the license center and take the necessary tests. Once you've earned it, head to World Circuits and enter the event. Your goal is to finish in the top three overall. It looks like it's going to be raining on the day of the race, so be sure to drive carefully. I'll be rooting for you. Thank you. That's not the first time you're rooting for me. I feel, uh, I feel grateful. Bullet train. Hey, here we are in Tokyo. Seriously, that graphic is not impressive at all, to be honest. It looks quite average, if not bad. I mean, when you're driving, the cars look nice, but that looks, that just looks bad, bad, bad. Okay, so. Uh -huh. I need a license. So they won't allow me to drive here, right? Race here without the license. Let's just double check if they're right about it. I want to make sure. Okay, so championship. Yes, so national B license is required. So let's go to the license uh, testing center, wherever it is. Is it here? License center. And let's finish the B. Uh, is it a lot to do? Mm, a reasonable amount of things. So I finished this too. Let's go with the. Turning, cornering, negotiating corners. P3 is cornering basics one. We'll be checking your steering skills on a right hand corner. So let's start with the basics of taking on a corner. You can turn through this right hand corner just using the steering wheel. Well, I wanted to really use my joystick. I actually have it right there. I can connect it if needed. Be careful to stay on the track and focus on the angle and timing of your turn. I don't believe I'm reading that. I really don't. Um, I don't. don't dem I don't want demonstration. I just want to do it. I just want my gold. If I can, of course, achieve it. Second gear. Okay, so I now I understand what he said by using the uh, the wheel. He meant you don't have to brake. That was enough to say, don't brake, just use the wheel. Like convoluted way of saying, go full throttle.
There we go. Awesome. Amazing. Lovely. Whatever. Gold is gold. I don't need anything else. Uh, okay. Um, can I go to the next one easy from here? Or I have to go... No, I have to go exit. Next. I will cover some of the buttons. Uh, B4. Okay, let's do B4. B4 is cornering basics too. It's exactly the same as B3, but with a faster car. So I'm assuming now I have to brake, right? This is the exact same corner as in B3. The only difference is that you're driving a faster car. This means you can take the corner to full throttle, either ease off the accelerator or apply the brakes before turning. Okay, we'll find out what needs to be done. Silver at the first time, okay. Congratulations, your silver result, but we're not done here yet, right? Let's go for the gold. Yes, let's go for the gold. Let's see if I can go for the gold. I'm actually not sure what's the best gear to start with here. I'm going to keep it on the... Oh, I messed it up big time. Uh, so it's actually starting with the second. I'll be keeping on the third. That should upshift straight away after it releases me, yeah. Okay, that was barely, but it's gold. Be done with it. Next. Ah, oh, need to click again. I don't see that button behind it. Really. B5. Uh, that is a barf. Wow, that's that car looks old. 85. Uh, cornering basics free. B5 is cornering basics free, where you'll be dry. Well, you will drive through a series of consecutive corners. Find the right steering rhythm, rhythm, and use the entire width of the track. Okay, start. Okay, I have no idea what's the starting gear here. That car definitely does not have ABS. I don't think I'm going to need ABS here, to be honest, though. Okay, yeah, that wasn't too hard, was it? Okay, next one, please. Uh... That's the gold done. B6, cornering basics four. So the same faster car, no, extra corner. The first uh, left-hander. B6 is cornering basics four. You'll be going through the same executive corners as before, consecutive corners as B5, but with a faster car. Okay. Okay, I can go full throttle. That was uh, quickly discovered by me. I'm sure that car has ABS, but yeah, who cares? Oh, okay. Um, second gear wasn't was unnecessary here. Wow, that car actually has some power. I didn't expect that, to be honest. That was a really nice surprise. <laughs> I'm really losing it. <laughs> it feels like I'm driving some 1000 horsepower Lamborghini.
Whoa, that car really likes to go crazy, even on the third gear. On well, I want to do it properly, and <laughs> that was crazy. I was a bit better. But that car surprised me, I have to say. I didn't expect uh, so much oversteer from from that uh, from that fair lady. Um, pretty beautiful car, by the way. Um, but it kicked me a few times in the butt for accelerating. Carelessly. Okay, what's next in the store for me? B7. Uh, so what's that? That's GR86 or Z uh, from last year. Trial Mountain Circuit. The Trial Mountain returns to Gran Turismo after being absent in Gran Turismo Sport. A classic, classic, classic truck. B7 is a cornering basic 5. Here we will get into the basics of braking at corners. B7 is all about braking. You need to reduce your speed before entering that corner. Try to find the right spot for stepping on the brake. Uh, okay. I don't have ABS or do I have ABS? I don't know actually. I don't have ABS. Okay. Oh, I lost it. Oh, also, I want to check one more thing. Ah, that car has... Yeah, okay, it's a manual gearbox. I wasn't sure. Uh, if there was puddles or manual gearbox of clutch. But it looks like there is a uh, traditional... Messed it up big time. Let's try again. Too white, too white. And too much oversteer at the exit. Going the distance, okay. Angels Crest Highway, whatever it is. Oh! I reduced the first one. So that is gold, but I want to check something now. Um, yeah, let's retry, but this time... This time, retry with ABS on week and see how it goes. Just want to see the difference. Okay, and now I want to check another thing. So I will do the same with left foot braking and puddles, just to compare how it feels.
Okay. There was not a big difference between the puddles, but obviously there was just one corner. Uh, but there was a huge difference, I think, between uh, no ABS and ABS. As a conclusion. That's a conclusion. Uh, cool. So, 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 so. Um, next one. Next. Lancer Evolution 4, GSR, 96. One simple corner and Mont Panorama motor racing circuit. A lovely truck, amazing race truck. Um, crazy race truck as well. B8 is a cornering basic six. We'll introduce you to the first corner of the Mont Panorama circuit. This challenge is also about finding visual reference on the truck to remind you when to brake. Be sure to decelerate sufficiently before entering the corner. That's the key to getting a good time. Okay, uh, settings, assist, ABS, off. And back to manual gearbox. No puddles. Okay, so that's going to be what? Third gear? Fourth gear? Fourth. Okay, not too bad. First try. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Done. I won't be spending more, more time here. No point. Uh, next one. Uh, Dragon Trail. Seaside at Civic Type Air Limited Edition FK8 2020. So that would be some breaking, breaking on the corner, I guess. Uh, okay, let's give it a try. There's two more left. B9 is cornering basics seven, where you will work on mastering mid and low speed corners. The challenge requires you to take two corners. You will start with a medium speed corner, followed by a low speed one. To keep your car stable, make sure it's moving in a straight line when you apply the brakes. And we will try to do it first without ABS. Almost at the first result, not too bad, I guess. Uh, let's try to improve it and get the gold. Was it third gear? I think it was third gear when I was starting. Okay, this is an issue with the gearbox again. I definitely on fourth, it put me on the second within the game. Uh, hopefully that is just a one-off. Third one is actually too too fast. Should be second gear, I guess. Messed up the exit of the corner. That was the worst time than before. Trying again. Um, I think I'm too aggressive in that first corner. Um, there's no point going so deep into that apex. That's much better, I guess.
Am I really that slow in that second corner? This is getting annoying now, okay. Okay, finally done. Be gone. And the last one will be the full truck, I guess. That's what it usually is. Oh, no, it's not. Looks like you've passed all the challenges from B1 to B9. Excuse me, well done. Next up is B10, the final exam. Pass that and the license is yours. You're nearly there. Now keep going. Okay, let's do it. it. Looks like I'm going to get two cars as well. All right, here it is, your final exam. Pass this exam and you will be issued a national B license. The final exam requires you to take a series of corners. Okay. Use the skills and techniques you've picked up so far to deal with each corner as best you can. Get bronze or better in this exam and you will be given a license, so good luck. Cool. What I'm driving, Renault. And the same thing happened again. The gearbox is getting worse today. Bloody fun attack. Oh, too fast, too fast. What tires do I have? CS, Comfort Soft, I guess it means. What am I doing? Ta -da 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 -da. Like an idiot. Could have done much better. And I would do if I wasn't disengaged, but yeah, uh, I'll try again just to see how I can if I can improve it. Was too far, okay. I was already ready to uh, upshift to fourth. Oh, that wasn't an improvement. Uh, I want to try again. I want to improve on the previous time. Even though I don't have to, it's already gold, but it just feels like I can do better. No, okay. That screwed that gearbox. Something's, something's wrong with the shifter. Cool. All gold, done, dusted. What's the, what are the cars? I want to know what the what are the cars I'm I'm getting. I'm winning. Congratulations on receiving a national B license. A new gift car has been sent to your garage to celebrate. They could have done it so much better. They could have showed them right now, like release, you know, 
show the first one, cover, then uncover it, and the second one, ah, oh, Gran Turismo. Polyphony Digital. Such a wasted. Ah, okay, so they're showing them. So that was the Clio and GTO. Didn't I buy that Clio already? No, I bought, I bought a DC or DS or whatever it's called. Okay, a new gift card has been sent to your girls. Okay, so that's how they're showing them. Fa fair enough. That looks good. I'm happy for the GTO Twin Turbo. Such a good memories from the previous games. Congratulations on getting your National B license. My name is. Whatever that name is, Lopez in charge of National A license. Coque? I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. I'm also a Gran Turismo competition driver for Spain, which is my home. Good for you. Nice and sunny, I guess, all year around. Once you clear the test requirements for A1 to A10, you will be approved for the National A license. Just a quick piece of advice before you start. Have you been using the auto braking feature? No. If so, I would suggest trying to learn to drive without it. You'll get faster lap times if you do. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Uh, let's just have a look at that. Hey, what do they do there? Okay, so it's the same boring circuits. Corner, 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 corner. Uh, corners, more corners, more corners, 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 and more corners. Okay. It's all about corners. Um, I think I have enough for today. Uh, it was three hours session so far in Gran Turismo today, and I will be taking a break. Uh, for all of you who are following me today, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time in Gran Turismo 7. Uh, maybe today, just later in the evening. See you. Bye.